Happening today, lawmakers and activists urging Congress to step up in what's being described as a war on the Postal Service. President Trump says he'll block much needed funding to the USPS because he claims voting by mail is open to fraud in the upcoming presidential election. Nick Sturdivant live in Buckhead with more on today's rallies. Good morning, Shiva. There are two planned rallies set to happen. The first one is set to happen in Decatur on Wesley Chapel Road at the U.S. Post Office. The second one is supposed to happen here in Buckhead in front of Senator David Perdue's office. Now, the first one is led by Congressman Hank Johnson. He's been leading the charge. He's been very vocal about the situation. He said that Americans count on the U.S. Postal Service for everyday things, especially the right to vote. Johnson has vowed that Democrats will do everything in their power to protect the Postal Service and push back against President Donald Trump. Now, the rally that's set to happen here at noon in Buckhead in front of Senator David Perdue's office, uh, it, again, it will happen here in Buckhead, and organizers have uh, been very critical of Senator, Senator Perdue and Senator Kelly Leffler over the issue and want them to speak out against the cutbacks and organizers for this protest today in, in Buckhead. Um, they're demanding two things, Sheba. They're demanding that, they're, uh, that the Postmaster General Louis DeJoy, who was appointed by President Trump, back in June that he stepped down. Also, they're asking for Congress to pass the HEROES Act. Nick, thank you. New numbers show American voters are less confident in the accuracy of the upcoming presidential election vote count compared to 2016. In an NBC News Wall Street Journal poll, 45% of voters say they're not confident the election results will be counted accurately. That's 11 points higher than four years ago. And the 45% who are confident in the upcoming vote count is down 14 points from 2016. When asked about ballots cast by mail, more than half of voters disagree they'll be counted accurately. The poll shows Republicans are far less confident in the upcoming election results, no matter the method of voting.